this exhibition which is organized along with the All India Conference here in Delhi is named actually Motherland. Motherland has two connotations. One is obviously uh, the motherland, India. But we portraying the motherland, we giving it an another meaning also, which is explaining the mothers who is crying for justice for many years from Fatima Nafis, Radhika Vamula and uh, uh, Zak uh, Biyuma, Zakaria's mother Biyuma and uh, 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 Bhopal encounter victim's mother uh, and Junaid's mother and many more mothers uh, crying for justice is also being explained in the name of motherland. So in, in this exhibition we have been uh, og uh, we have organized many uh, incidents, many metaphorical elements which explains what the many untold stories of India which will be explained to you uh, by uh, brother Khuram Rath. So I am handing over my mic to him. This piece of art is a metaphorical representation of the atrocities in Kashmir that how uh, people of Kashmir are being uh, suffered. The, the, these are the leaves of the china tree that represent the Kashmir and the graves and also the lot of uh, thousands of women who are being raped in Kashmir is also one of the representation of this uh, model. Here you can see that these are the uh, stamps that we have made by the army shoes that represents the military men, how they are harassing, uh, harassing the women of Kashmir who are being who are crying for justice since years. We do have some of the flags that represent how the different mothers, as uh, it was earlier said, that this whole exhibition tells you about the motherland, how the different mothers of India are crying for justice. Uh, like one name is, uh, one such mother is Fatima Nafis, another is Biyuma, who is the mother of Zakaria, who, uh, who is under trial in jail since uh, years, and Saira Banu, who is mother of Junaid, who was, uh, 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 of Junaid, the 16-year-old boy who was lynched. Now, uh, so he, in this exhibition, you will also get to know the present situation of India, that how uh, these small fringe elements who, who, was, uh, who are trying to pave their way in, uh, in, the commu in the harmonious society of India. So this model here represents the atrocities that people of Kashmir are suffering from years that, uh, by the military men and that they are being thrown, the pelted stones, and also the lot of women who are being uh, raped. And uh, hanging that you see, the rope that uh, represents the uh, incident in Jharkhand that how uh, two men were hanged. And also the leaves of Chinar represents uh, the, uh, the Kashmir. Moving on, you will see there's uh, the different, these are the posters of mothers who are crying for justice. That you see Radhika Vemula who... So uh, this model here that you see is a metaphorical representation of the atrocities uh, uh, that, is, uh, that is happening with the people of Kashmir that how thousands of women who are being raped by military men and also that you see the ropes hanging here are a representation of uh, how two men in Jharkhand were hanged. The, uh, the number of kidnappings and uh, the people who, who are being ab illegally abducted is also the representation of, uh, is the representation of this model. Moving on that you will see the mothers of, as the name of the exhibition itself represents, the motherland, there are a lot of mothers in India who are crying for justice, like the mother of uh, Rohit Vemula, Radhika Vemula, as well as the mother of Muhammad uh, of Najib, who is missing since year, the Fatima Nafis and Biyuma, who is the mother of Zakaria, and Saira Banu, who is mother of 16-year-old boy, Junaid, who is, uh, who is illegally lynched, mob lynched by those mobs. So these graffitis are taken from the Bansky graffiti on apartheid wall in Gaza that how uh, Israel, the state of Israel is illegally uh, trying to make an up apartheid wall and are uh, trying to capture the state of Palestine. Then you will also see the map of Palestine since 1946 and how it has been shrinking the state of Palestine. You will see that the, uh, how the, uh, the state of Israel is trying to capture the state of Palestine a very small representation of, of the 2002 Gujarat violence of Ehsan Jafri in the Gulbarg uh, Society village of Gujarat. You, you can see the, how a uh, lot of people who their uh, villages together were burned and there were a lot of pe uh, children were made orphans and women lost their men and were brought to roads and nobody is there. Now still the re rehabilitation of those people is still a problem.
Uh, this model is a representation of the wagon massacre that happened in November 10 in 1921 in Thirur uh, village of Kerala that how farmers, a lot of farmers were put into one wagon and were logged and they died out of suffocation. So this is uh, one such representation of the atrocities against farmers that happened in Thirur in 1921. Uh, this metal art represents that how the beef ban and uh, the holy cow issues has been raised to divert people from the original issues, the actual issues of India. You, you could see here that how a man is trying to pull out that trishul that, that symbolizes the Hindutva, how they are trying to... Uh, how they are trying to mob uh, how they are trying to mobilize people and to divert them from real issues uh, you, we have also seen a lot of incidents uh, in the, especially in the northern parts of india that how these are being used as an election campaign and a lot of innocent people are being killed on the name of beef on the name of holy cow so this is one such representation and artwork that it is our responsibility that how we will tackle uh, with this small non issue that is being made uh, so this unique kind of art represents that forceful disappearance of Najib, that, uh, how it has been, uh, since it's been in years and still the government is not uh, taking this issue seriously and, and there has been no results in so far. Now you would also see that there's one more graffiti of, uh, uh, of Junaid, 16 year old boy who has, uh, who has been mob lynched in train while returning back to his home uh, for Eid side you will see the face of Mohammed Junaid Khan who is who has been mob lynched while returning to his home from uh, for Eid that how he has been lynched by the barbaric people the other sketch that you are seeing here is of Zakaria who is still under trial since nine years and the justice has not been delivered to Zakaria so this unique kind of art represents few faces of this uh, who few few faces of the victim who has been suffering from different issues uh, that is happening in past recent years. This unique representation of the map of India represents how hate crime and mob lynching riots, victims of doctrine, do, uh, draconian law and institutional discrimination has been happening in India over the years. That you could see right from the top of the Kashmir towards the end in the Kanyakumari and in, from the Gujarat to the state of Assam, you could see that there are a lot of places in India where these hate crimes, mob lynching, riots and institutional discriminations are part and parcel of India that has been happening country without post office a very beautiful poem written by Aga Shahid Ali is also metaphorically represented here as you can see that lot of the letters that are being put in a small post box that how a lot of Kashmiri people who are uh, who are kidnapped and a lot of people who are still missing in Kashmir this is one such that represent the atrocities in the Kashmir and how the people of Kashmir are suffering and a lot of them who are missing illegally and still there is no sign of the return of, of such people in Kashmir. So you can see here the letters, you can see here the post box. That is one such representation of the poem that is written by Aga Shahid Ali. One, uh, represent, uh, this is one such representation of Re Rohit Vemula's hostel room that how his institutionalized murder has led to the exhalation in the uh, total campus orientation of India and uh, that how it built the discourse of and discussion on how the institutional murders and how the government is trying to uh, make their ways in and how, how they are trying to communalize things in campuses. Now you can also take a look at how before uh, when he uh, when Rahu Rohit Vemula suicided that how he uh, you could find here the pictures of uh, you could find here pictures of Jyoti uh, of Baba Sahib Ambedkar and Jyoti Bafule and you could see how there was one flag that says Jai Bhim. Now that you see about the, the stars and moon that while, while Rohit Ram Vamula when he suicided he wrote that he wanted to write about moons that is uh, moons and stars. So this is one such representation of his dreams and how those all dreams were curbed and was murdered by the institutionalized murder of the government.